In this video, we will demonstrate turning both the shaft and the hammerhead handle for a walking cane using Legacy's Maverick CNC featuring three independent workstations, a three-axis table, a five-axis turning center, and a four-axis vertical vise. Legacy Smart Tool allows you to run a single program that contains all of the tool paths, including tool changes. Each tool will automatically touch off the Smart Tool and set the Z-axis to the proper depth. To begin, the adjustable bed is set level to turn all of the details that can be programmed using a 4-axis turning center. Starting at the tailstock end, we simply turn the blank round. At the headstock end, we turn the blank round using a couple of passes to waste the excess material. The finish pass has a small step over resulting in a very smooth finish pass. Using the same surface planing bit available from Magnate.net, we removed more of the material in the center in preparation for turning the contoured handle. Next, we changed to a 90 degree V-bit. Again, the cutter touched the smart tool and set the Z-axis to automate the tool change process. All of the tool paths for the shaft are programmed using Legacy's C-CAM software, allowing you to take full advantage of the Maverick's 5-axis turning capabilities. C-CAM software also allows you to program profile-based turning operations, including turning round, turning beads and coves, flutes and reeds, spiral patterns, index joinery, and much more. You can see how we use the same cutter for various operations, such as the diamond pattern, and a small cove at each end of the pattern, and to chamfer the tip at the end of the cane. Next, we used a 1 inch diameter core box bit to turn the contoured section of the handle. CCAM allows you to use the Maverick CNC as a copy lathe, continuously turning the blank as the cutter travels along the length of the turned section. This technique is not as fast as a lathe, however the slower rotational speed eliminates spindle whip and produces an excellent finish. It's actually possible to safely turn a blank that is non-symmetrical and completely unbalanced. At this point, all of the four axis tool paths are completed and we are ready to adjust the bed to machine the tapered section of the shaft. Of all the digital angle gauges that we have tested, we have found the Wixi to be the most accurate. We simply set the gauge on the tail stock and zeroed out the display. Next, we loosened the locking screws and adjusted the bed 1.0 degrees. When using a CNC with a manual adjustment for the bed like the Maverick, Conversational Cam or C Cam will pause the program and display the angle that you need to set the bed for any tapered toolpaths. If you're using the Gemini, Artisan 2, or Artisan CNC, the system will automatically adjust the bed for you and instantly continue machining the tapered toolpaths. The system made several rough passes to quickly remove most of the material and then made a finish pass with a small step over producing a very smooth finish. To finish the shaft, we set the bed back to level and used the surface planing bit to machine the round tenons at both the tailstock end and the headstock end. The shaft is now complete. As you can see, the turned blank for the handle is offset. Before starting the program for the handle, we manually rotated the part to position the offset surface on top. Then we used the surface planing bit to turn the hammerhead round. While you may not want to try turning something this unbalanced on a lathe, Machining the part on a CNC gives you perfect control and safely completes the process. Mm -hmm. 
The part is programmed so that it completes the turning process in the same position that it started in with the bottom of the hammer head on top. The 90 degree V bit chamfered the head and then chamfered the bottom of the hammer head to receive the handle. While this is a fairly complicated part to program, Legacy's CNC customers receive free online training demonstrating step-by-step -step how to program each PAR on all of the projects. If you would like a guest pass to the weekly webinar training sessions, please contact Legacy at 1-800-279-4570. Next, we used a half-inch diameter end mill to surface the bottom of the hammerhead handle and then machine out a round mortise to receive the shaft. The same cutter is used to contour the edges of the hammerhead and then machine the eight-sided neck of the hammer. While the claws are machined from one side of the part, the top of the hammerhead is chamfered on both sides using the 90 degree V-bit. And finally, a tapered ball and carving bit was used to machine the gap between the claws. While Legacy's multi-station CNC systems, like the Maverick, are the most versatile CNC systems available, Many of our customers tell us that it is Legacy's training and support that tops their list of reasons to buy a CNC from Legacy Woodworking Machinery. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and share it with others. If you would like to learn more about Legacy's full line of innovative CNC systems and superior training program, please call us at 1-800-279-4570. And be sure to visit our website at LegacyCNCWoodworking.com.